Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing, Had kids? I'm Q the Coast Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked battle stadium singles here in Regulation F Season 16. We're borrowing a team once again, and what really caught my eye here is obviously Monkey Dory, but really the Chestnut. I was like, can Chestnut really hang in ranked battles? We're gonna find out today. This set, I don't know. It might, it might be able to. Dragonite kind of, you know, kind of walls this set, and a lot of them, a lot of the defensive ones. A running air slash but in theory if it's just a physical attacking one um we low-key could you know could fuck around as long as they don't have iron defense pp maxed i think we should be a-okay um even though yeah as long what, what, what it'll be 24 it'll be like at 16 if they don't have a pp max or something like that so i'm saying that because like encore shenanigans but uh we'll see how it goes should be pretty fun they also have like ursaluna regular ursaluna instead of blood moon um, but yeah, big shout out to the person that created this team. They made it to top 285 in season 15. If you guys want to go check out the intricacies of the EV spreads, they are in the poker pace located in the description down below. I think they got a little greedy with um well, Scarfish Eevee was adamant, which that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, you might not be outpacing things like Scarf Scarf Jolly Landorus, but you know it is what it is. But the monkey dory, they made it modest. And while I do understand, because it is focus sash, so in theory it's like it doesn't really matter if you're timid or modest, but because like Urshifu and base 100s like Entei and shit like that is running around, um, I felt like just having maximum speed on the Monkey Dory made a little more sense. Obviously, modest uh, is good for dealing more damage, but I think finding out the information of whether or not the Urshifu is scarfed or whether or not it is um, max speed. The only information we're going to find out is if like an Urshifu attacks us, is if they, if we go first. That means that they're they either are adamant or they don't have any speed investment whatsoever. Um, regardless, we're gonna try it out. I think Monkey Dory is actually gonna low key steal the show because any mon with Focus Sash and priority to break opposing Focus Sashes typically uh, wins the 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 uh, you know the little exchange of there. Um, they should be scared as well if it's like Leader Shifu, at least if it's or Shifu Water against Monkey Dory because I am a Psychic type and we don't have a Psychic move, but they don't know that. Uh, regardless, Terra Blast Ice is very interesting because I guess it's there to catch. Dragonite and Landorus off guard could be pretty nice. But yeah, team looks really fun. A lot of unique guys on here that you don't really see all that often. Uh, another Entei sighting. Ironically enough, this time it's a Salt Vest. A lot of people, for whatever reason, on High Ladder never put speed into their Entei. Once again, this Entei is just adamant max attack, uh, a lot of HP, and then a little bit into Spadef. No speed investment whatsoever. It is a little weird. I do kind of like get it because, you know, with being a Salt Vest, you want to maximize your bulk. But once again, I, like there's just a lot of like base 90s base 80s and above that you kind of want to outpace if they're running maximum speed but i mean we'll see how it goes man terra blast grass is pretty nice does entei get trailblaze i think that could have actually been pretty cool i feel like it does get trailblaze yeah it does so i think i think that could be pretty cool but obviously you'd, you'd run you want to run that on a more speedy set but also i guess if you're terrestrializing into grass type in front of something like prim which this team is decently prim weak mainly because the grass type does not have a grass move that can attack uh, it does make sense to run Terra Blast over, tra uh, over Trailblaze, so you're doing more damage. But, <laughs> with that being said, guys, we're going to give it our best. Hopefully, we can get some wins with Monkey Dory. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Like the video. If you want to use the team ID for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner. 6HR9RB. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team, as well as any other Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all like the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new. And I hope you all enjoy the battles. All right, here we are with the first battle. And we're running into some very, very interesting Pokemon. Uh, we cannot hit that Mimikyu with Chestnut. I guess we have Knockoff, but yeah, we'll see what happens there. It's probably a Cursed Mimikyu anyways, or Trick Room. Um, Yeah, because like Trick Room support with Azu or King Gambit to be able to like, you know, uh, take advantage of it. Uh, what do they want to do here, man? I could see a Tinglu lead. I could see it. I could see it. Um, I kind of want to low key his lead off with like Specs Basket Legion. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. I feel like it does. I feel like it does. It makes so much sense. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I think we want to bring Monkey Dory to like, if not anything else, just to waste one turn of Trick Room. We are probably gonna lose our Sash because of the uh, Ting Lu, but it is what the T is, and then. I low key think, like Chestnut could win with them when the Mimikyu is gone. Like a hundred percent, this mod could win. 
So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I think Ursaluna could also do it a little faster without having to set up. But yeah, if it's like Lastmon, Chestnut in front of Ting Lu, they can't Whirlwind us. And as long as they don't land their Fissures, we should be fine. So we'll see what happens, man. I could see a Ting Lu lead. This is kind of why I wanted to lead off with the Specs Basket Legion just to like do huge damage to it. I don't think it's going to do that much damage to it. But it is Choice Specs of Adaptability Boosted Hydro Pump. It actually almost kills. If they're Fizz Def, it actually kills. So let's see. Most of them run Spidef, like Max Spidef. So it won't kill if they're Max Spidef. But if they're Fizz Def, it does. So they actually lead off with this Pokemon. What's this Pokemon's name? Fez and Dipiter? Fez, Fez and Dipiter. Which I guess this is fine too. Uh, this Mon like isn't really that like uh, dangerous, I should say. I do want to land a Hydro Pump. I really, really do. Hydro, uh, Shadow Ball should 2 KO unless they're like Max Spideff and AV. But if they are Max Spideff and AV, then Hydro guaranteed 2 KOs. I'm going to go for it and hope I just land them. They beat up, okay? I mean, I, I get it, kind of, but like, you only have three Mons. This is like a strategy you see in 6v6 because Lead Fezendipity will get six chances to proc Toxic Chain. Um, can we land, please? Come on, Basket Legion, have eyes. She has eyes, baby, let's go. Big damage. Oh, that was a crit, so that might have been AV. That was not AV. That might have been very spideff, though. Because a crit definitely should have killed if they were just, like, max HP. Uh, so, yeah, that's, like, very, very spideff. Uh, Once again, very free Hydro Pump. Wish I could switch up my moves, but I can't. So, let's click Hydro Pump. And they can't switch into this. Like, they really can't. They protect. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's cool, I guess. Um, Big Hydro Pump. Who did I bring in the back? I'm actually curious. I brought Monkey Dory, right? Pretty sure I did. This leads me to believe they didn't bring Ting Lu. Because I don't think you would I don't think you would keep Ting Lu in the back. Like what what on my team would make you would entice you to do that? Eh, I guess a lot of them, honestly. Who did I bring? I did bring Monkey. Let's go. Alright. Uh just land your hydro, please. Come on, I know you can do it. They're gonna roost? Oh, just land your hydro, please. Please, Baski Legion. Please. Please, let's go! Another crit? That'd be great. Big ass damage. Alright, so they probably protect here. And I'm gonna uh, act accordingly. I'm gonna switch. I am going to switch. Uh, into what? I don't know. This mod might actually just beat me. I, unironically. Uh, I'm gonna go into the monkey. And I'm gonna hope that... Uh, I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope something. Let's see, what, what are we thinking? Careful? Yeah, because a crit... Yeah, that is about as much a crit would do. Big Monkey Dory energy. So, a fake out in a sludge wave should kill. Actually. But they probably protect here, if I had to guess. But they could be scared of Nasty Plot. So, like, them protecting would be very, very dire for them. If they do, in fact, protect. So, let's see what happens. Maybe I should just click sludge wave. I don't know. It's a tough one. They could be scared of Psychic as well. They should be scared of Psychic, actually. I should have uh, I should have Sludge Wave, just raw. But they have two Dark Types. In the they have three Dark Types, potentially, in the back. They do withdraw. Okay, perfect. So we might be getting a Toxic Chain on somebody, which is pretty big, pretty big. Uh, the Pheasantipity is in range of, what's it called? This Mon is in. Okay. We got a game, folks. Big Toxic Chain. That's actually so big. All right, perfect. Um, I'm going to try and just land a Focus Blast. I'm just going to be better. And just land a Focus Blast. I'm just going to be great. And land a Focus Blast. Come on, Monkey Dory. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, buddy. You can land this Focus Blast. Be great. So this is the Dark type they brought in the back. So who is it? Is it... Oh, they're, we're so good. Is it Ozzy or Mimikyu? I don't think it'd be Mimikyu, but maybe it is. Ooh, they're not Citrus Berry. That's actually big. So, what's this Pokemon's name again? Ting Lu. I'm debating whether I need to Terrestrialize or not. The only reason why I wouldn't want to is because they're also not Spideff. Um, Because it'll guarantee the kill on this, right, if I Terra Ice. The only reason I don't want to is because I want to save it. But I guess if they brought... Would they have brought King Gammon in the back? Because if they brought the bird in the back, 
then I need a Terra with Chestnut. But if they didn't bring the bird in the back, then Chestnut's Terra is not needed. You know what I mean? So it just comes down to, did they bring the bird in the back? Like the, the other bird. Um, I'm going to go for it. If they brought the other bird, then so be it, you know? Let's see what happens. This should kill. Uh, based on the Focus Blast damage. It does It does uh, slightly more than Focus Blast does because of now it's stab and super effective. Outside of just being super effective with the Focus Blast. They could have Terrored, which would have actually been really dire. But I think they want to save that. So we solidify the KO. Monkey Dory pulling weight. You'll love to see it. Uh, if they go out in the Fez, we just uh, attack it. I don't really care what they do. <sighs> this is a tough one. Let's see, who is it? It is Fez. All right, well, I mean, they protect here, surely, but, like, I don't really care. Just gonna click Sludge Wave. Yeah, it, like, it's whatever. Um, We still have a decent chance to kill them, but they most likely do live on a sliver. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what they want to do here. We'll see what they want to do here. Oh, uh, wait, I could have Terra Steel with Chestnut and ignored the poison. But then, like, they, um, they, what's it called? They, uh, they 4x resist body press. So, like, even at plus six, that wasn't really going to be doing much. Let's just get a good high roll here. We need a really big high roll here in order to knock this out. So close. Roost. Ugh. So close. And now they can poison me. Oh, man. This is tough. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we lose to Fez and Dippity because we didn't bring, like, a good physical attacker. I guess we needed we needed Entei. I, I, ironically, we needed Entei. Yeah, I think that was it. We're back. They protect. Okay, beautiful. I am going to... I think I'm going to go for the Ice Beam Freeze. Oh, no, I'm going to go for Spadef Drops. I think that's what I'm going to do. They protect here, 100% anyways. But I, I'm, like, pretty confident they can't kill us on the turn after anyways. Um, do I go for Freeze or Spit F Drops? I'll go for Spit F Drops. See what happens. They Light Screen. Bruh. Huh? What is this Pheasantipity set? I'm mad that it's going to beat me. I'm, like, genuinely upset that it's about to beat me. No Spit F Drop. Very unfortunate. Light screen. Well, we're gonna lose here for sure. Like we definitely lost here. There's genuinely no way we could win. Not anymore, unfortunately. Uh they probably just protect. Oh, they withdraw. Huh? Wait a minute, guys. We got a chance. Was it the Moltres the whole time? It was Azu. We take those. Holy shit. Wait, what? I mean, they could Encore me. They could Belly Jump. I don't know what they want to do. They could Parish Song. Um, I'm going to go for this, though. They're, like, kind of allowing me to potentially win here. They do Ice Beam. They're special. Okay. That actually did a lot. Wow, there's special Ozzy. That's crazy. Okay. That's actually kind of insane. Um, I mean, we got to get the plus six, so. Now we're just flirting with an Ice Beam Freeze at this point. Oh, now they Encore. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Well, we are faster, which is good. Damn, if I could just Terra Steel, I'd be so fine. Uh, why? Why did they go hard into this when I could have a grass move? Are they just the what's it called? They must be Sap Sipper. Also, they PP max their iron defense for some ungodly reason. Well, live and you learn. I could switch. Actually, I should, I should switch. What am I doing? Why'd they switch out of Pheasantipity? I'll never understand that. I don't get that at all. Why'd they also switch out in front of Ozzy? Like, just two kill me with Ice Beam and win the game, bro. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? 
Whatever. We're plus six. I mean, I'm going to click body press eventually. We'll see what happens. I'll probably click knockoff first, honestly. If I get the chance. But yeah, they're going to toxic me eventually with uh, with uh, beat up. Um, Let's just check. We do have two more turns. So yeah, let's just get them over with. I mean, there is a... Ch they're playing this really dumb. Like, there's, they're giving us so many chances to actually come back. It's very funny. I don't think that, like, uh, plus, six plus six chestnut is going to do all that much of body press. But at the same time, like, they're giving us the opportunity, which is very, very weird. It's just super fucking weird. Like, all they have to do is keep attacking me, and we genuinely lose the game. But they're giving us so many opportunities. There we go. They're finally hitting. No toxic chain, please. Get super lucky. No toxic chain. Huge huge because now we're no longer on court baby um so i'm going to knock off their lefties right now i think i want to knock off their lefties they could protect but i think they go for the body pro uh the beat up again they're allowing chestnut to win this game which is so funny to me like they did not need to do this they genuinely could have could have not done this they could have just ice beamed me with ozzy twice and won and what they would have won the game would have been over yeah, they protect, sure. Good, good job. <laughs> that does not matter. That does not matter. But me knocking off their lefties enables us to 2 KO them with body press. Potentially, potentially. Um, or their black sledge, my bad. Uh, but yeah, we've shown knockoff. So they might not even like, they just, they might not even give a fuck. They're very disrespectfully not attacking Chestnut. And for that reason, they will be losing the game. So yeah, we're going to knock off Azu's whatever. What do they have? Lefties? Like, I don't even know. And then we just body press twice and potentially just win the game. Yeah, lefties. Because even if they... We're faster. Guaranteed faster. So even if they encore us, like, that's irrelevant. Because now I'm just clicking body press till I win. Because now I might just win the game. I genuinely might just win the game. Unless there's a random Terra Ghost. All because they just refused to attack, attack Chestnut. I don't understand it. Look at that. Big body press damage. Encore me. Ice Beam. Even better. Do not freeze me. Don't bail them out, video game. Don't do it. Oh, man. The game paused for a whole second. I was like, bro, please. This battle's also going super long. <laughs> All right. Light screen's gone. They lost the fucking game. GG's. The battle is canceled. Let's see it. It's for, it's crazy, too, because the feds, like, 4x resist me. Like, they really play this poorly, in my opinion. They play this very poorly. All they had to do was Ice Beam with Ozzy like a few times after they encored me and they were sitting pretty. But they decided to switch for some reason. I don't know, man. Iron Defense Chestnut. We haven't won yet. We have not won yet, but I think we guaranteed to a KO the, uh, the Fez. Well, I think I want to knock off into Body Press. Into Body Press. I think. That's what I'm going to do. They protect. Okay. Sure. Sure, dude. I just want to get rid of their lefties, man. Or their black sledge. You know what I mean? Maybe it is just best to just body press. It probably is best to just body press. But, like, I can knock off and then synthesis if I get toxic. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I think I'll be okay. Maybe not. They do beat up. Can we get lucky again? We do get lucky again. Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Now they might be in range, depending on their EV spread. Like, if they have no defense investment whatsoever and they're just max HP, uh, they're most likely in range of two, uh, two body presses. So now them protecting is irrelevant. No poison? There it is. Finally, it happened. Finally, it happened. Uh, and they've already used Roost twice, I believe. Let's just get a crit on the first one. Big damage. Yeah, they can't... Uh, I don't think they can stall me out of this. Because they've used two Roosts already, so they have six at the most. Their best bet is to click Roost here instead of Protect. But we'll see what they end up doing. So yeah, if I did just Terra Steel with Chestnut, I actually would have just won the game. But, um, I anticipated the Azu to be, like, regular Azu. Nothing crazy. Yo! Shout out to Ness Neros for the subscription. Let's go. They do protect, which is whatever. 
Uh, they gotta waste all these uh, roosts, and then we might be able to win. I'm not sure. I can't switch out a chestnut until it dies. So, if anything, we're gonna we're gonna waste its roost. So, like that's kind of what our goal is here. I think they only click roost twice. They might have done it three times. I think it's only been twice. And we could also crit here. So, our best bet is just to keep attacking. They do roost, and then on the next turn, I synthesis on their protect. And we'll see what happens. Look at that. Look at that damage. Big damage. So yeah, they should protect here. If they end up roosting here, it is a little unfortunate. But I think they don't switch the formula and they go for protect. Yeah, let's go. It's been a very funny first game. Also, if we somehow go to timer, which is not out of the question because we're about three minutes from 20 minutes away. In a, in a few seconds, uh, the three-minute warning should pop up, which is pretty funny. Um, and we'll win that way because of, uh, what's it called? Because of, um, we have three Pokemon still alive. So, all things considered, uh, we just body press here. So that's four Roos. They have four more, I think. I think. It's doing nothing. So now they might switch up the formula. Now they might switch up the formula. Man, if I just kept my Terra Steel in intact, I just did not want to miss against the Ting Lu. But I guess they couldn't heal, so it was irrelevant, because I just come in with whoever and just knock them the fuck out. They might protect here. I'm just going to body press and see what happens. Uh, I don't think we can actually timer stall to win. Uh, because... Yeah, they do. Okay, that's what I figured. They would roost. So I'm glad I clicked body press. Uh, because we do have a chance to crit here. Which would end everything. No, nope. okay. So that's five roosts. Three more. I think as long as we keep... If we get rid of the roost with this, then, then we're sitting pretty. Ooh, I don't think a synthesis will actually save us here. So I think we're... Actually, no, we have to synthesis because they protect here. Because if they protect, we die. If they roost, then good play. They made a, they made a good play. Fuck! Alright, let's see what happens. Wait, no, that's fine. So they have two more roosts. They have two more roosts. Damn, bro, if I could have just kept my fucking Terra Steel. This was so free if I could have just kept my Terra Steel. We go 148 to... 64. So I think we do synthesis again on their protect. Light screen. Bro, can you please just protect? Stop this. Stop this nonsense. They are playing this perfectly now. In the beginning, they, re they really threw this game. Like, they genuinely could have just, like, won without doing any of this. But uh, they genuinely threw the game for, like, no reason. What seems to be no reason. I send this again. They beat up. They just refuse to click protect. That's crazy. Okay. I'm gonna try to not I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to body press here, I think. And see what they end up doing. Two minutes left. Toxic should actually kill me. Like, probably next turn. Like, regardless if I if I uh, send this or not. I'm trying to think. Maybe maybe I do just send this again. Because they got to they click protect here for sure. I'm like, the protect mind games are so funny. In their head, it's probably not even a mind game, honestly. But in my head, it kind of is. Um, In my head, it kind of is. I think... That I'm just going to click synthesis again. God damn it. They keep getting me. Maybe they're out of roost. They're definitely not out of protects. Well, no, because that was only, what, six roost? Nah, they're not out of roost. Oh, we actually win. Never mind. <laughs> we actually win the game. Why well, just spamming synthesis now? We actually just win the game. That's so funny. Wow.
Yeah, we're about to win off timer. Hold on, guys. I don't like doing this, but I mean, against this person that genuinely threw the game, when they had it wrapped up, they once they encored me, all they had to do with Ozzy was the Ice Beam twice, and then they genuinely would have just been fine. But they decided to be a silly guy and not do that. Uh, so we are just going to sit here for the next 30 seconds. And Chestnut is, in fact, uh, going to clutch this game up, which is absolutely hilarious. If I was, if I just kept my Terra Steel, this also happened a lot easier without me being a dirtbag. But we're doing dirtbag tendencies right now, man. This is so funny. This is hilarious. I'm going to synthesis at the last second. Hell yeah. This is so funny, bro. Light screen. <laughs> we have all three of our Pokemon still alive, so we guarantee win this. Even if we die here to Toxic Poison. Uh, which we might. We actually might. Damn, this first battle went 20 minutes, bro. <laughs> well, we're going to at least get one more in. Hopefully the second battle goes a little bit more smoothly. I, would, I will say that Monkey Dory definitely did its thing. You know what I mean? Monkey Dory got a kill. And yeah, Monkey Dory did its thing. So we win. GG's. That was funny. Uh, hopefully they don't, yeah, they don't add up all the HP, right? Yeah, no, they, yeah, we have three mods alive, so that doesn't matter. They only do, like, there's a weird, like, um, equation that takes place when you, uh, have, e when you each have, like, the same amount of Pokemon alive. So, I, I've seen the equation, somebody talked about it before, but I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But it is very weird. Uh, but the, regardless, uh, we were a dirtbag in game one, let's see if we can just... Win a nice clean game in game two. Ooh, all right, y'all. Here we are with the second battle. If this is just another long one with Chestnut, most likely just going to be a uh, a two-parter. But honestly, I don't know what the fuck's about to happen here because there is a Glamora, and I have but two special attackers. Uh, we're going to lead off with one of them because it's also good against the Garg potential. Um, I do think Chestnut is very, very good here. Although we do kind of get walled by the Kumfei, which definitely should show up because of these guys. But I think... Um, low key. Terra Grass Entei looks really good here. And then I kind of do want to bring Chestnut. Things that could stop it are like Trick Rotom. Um, I guess Terra Ghost Garganical would be a bit unfortunate. But then that means they're not Terrastralizing Comfey, which is good for. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. But yeah, I guess we'll see. This is also good for just having a, ne a natural switch into uh, Ogre Pond. Uh, so yeah, let's just see how it goes, man. I think Choice Specs Basky Legion is a good lead. Uh, because it just clicks buttons against something. If they do lead Garg, I will be having to make a decision. I might just raw Hydro Pump and not care if they brought uh, the, the Ogre Pond in the back. Uh, but if they lead, like, Rotom, then I'll just Shadow Ball. Or something like that. Same thing with, like, Glamora. I'll just Shadow Ball. Because they're most likely Focus Sash. So they do end up leading with Chien Pao. Nothing we all, nothing we predicted. Nothing we predicted. All right. Well, we might have to just Terra immediately. Uh, we might have to just Terra immediately because this mon do be killing me. Uh, so yeah, we might have to just Terra immediately. I'm going to Terra immediately and click Terra Blast. There we go. If Chestnut didn't have that crazy comeback in the first one, Basket Legion probably would have gotten uh, the showcase because... Uh, Kind of let off and did some things. Crit Hydro Pump still didn't kill the Fez. Very unfortunate. But I think it, it knocked something out, right? Surely. Anyways, they Sucker Punch. That did little damage. Sucker Punch. No Life Orb. Are you Focus Ash? Survey says... You are. Alright, so here... They're either going to Icicle Crash. They're going to Ice Shard. Like, they, they should be predicting Yon Aqua Jet. I'm going to go in Entei. I'm going to go in Entei. Now, if they brought Glamora, this is bad. Because they could switch in on the E-Speed and then we'll we'll be fucked. But if they didn't, then we're good. Ice will crash. Perfect. That still does a lot of damage. Not going to lie. Um, Now we just E-Speed. They withdraw. No, don't show me Glamora. Please, video game. No Glamora. It's Glamora. It's Glim. It's this guy. Okay, that's not bad. That's not too bad. That's not that bad. I think I just go hard into my guy. I think we got to keep this guy around. Even if they get a rocks, like, I don't give a fuck. Um, I think we... I think we go into this, and honestly, we might just Terra Blast. Because uh, I don't want to miss a Hydro Pump. 
And in theory, Terror Blast is stronger now because of adaptability. Obviously, it's super effective, Fairy. I mean, uh, Hydro Pump is super effective, but you know, Garg and Akul. I don't want, you know, the risk of missing, you know, is very high. Oh, we do just kill it though, <laughs> still, even if it's for death. That's crazy. And Terror Blast doesn't guarantee to a KO if they're like max for death, but I, I mean, they're most likely gonna fucking protect or Terror here anyway, so let's just click Terror Blast first. And then probably click Terror Blast again. They withdraw, perfect. Show me uh, Ogapon or Rotom, and let me get big damage off on them. Yeah, perfect. Let's go. Big damage. Oh, it almost killed, guys. It almost killed. That was huge. All right, so I think I saved this. I think I genuinely saved this. Uh, they are in range of an E-Speed from what's it called, so it's really irrelevant. But I'm just going to go into my guy here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into my guy here. I, we can still get like one really strong hit off on the Garganical. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it in the back. Because E-Speed, E-Speed, Entei kills two out of three Pokemon right now. Horn Leech, that's gonna do not that much. I still think they're in range of E-Speed. Uh, they could Encore me into my Iron Defense, but I genuinely don't care. Because like it's three physical attackers. I think I can outlive the Garganical because of my Synthesis. So I am just going to try and get one up on them and click Iron Defense immediately. The Ivy Cudgel, that's going to do nothing. It is going to do more, but it's still doing nothing. And like like I said, like they can they can Encore me all they want. The Garg, if it's Terra Ghost, would be very unfortunate. But then at the very least, we get the Terra out of the way. Then they're not resisting Sacred Fire. They're not... Uh, we can figure out what move to lock in with Basket Legion. So I'm, like Encore me if you want to, man. Focus Energy. That's fine, too. <laughs> that's fucking that's fine that's so funny focus energy so they it's a guaranteed crit now but it's still not gonna do that much it's not gonna do that much um i think i'm i'm actually curious how much it's gonna do it's a guaranteed crit but i still think it's not gonna do that much yeah that's that's nothing that's genuinely nothing so now we're going to be at plus six. I don't want a synthesis just on the off chance they have the Encore. But it is it is, it is my best play in theory. Um, But no, I'm just going to body press. Just in case. Just in case I synthesis and then they Encore the next turn. Um, I'm just going to body press. They have a cudgel. Okay. Big crit. Did zero. And then we should definitely live a Chen Pao hit. And then in front of the Garg, I think we just body press into Synthesis. This only becomes really dicey if they have, uh, if they're Terra Ghost, right? If they're Terra like Fairy, it's also a little bit eh. But as long as I chip it down to put in range of Specs, Basket Legion, we should be fine. So they do go out into it. So yeah, I'm just, I am, I am going to, I'm going to click body press first. Uh, just to see what happens. They do Terra. All right, it's a ghost. Flying Fairy, both of which would be kind of problematic, but flying would be great because then we just Ice Beam. It's Terra Ghost. It had to be Terra Ghost. The one... Terra Ghost Garganical was very popular back in Season 1, and pretty much no one's been running it ever since. So the fact that they just so happen to be Terra Ghost is very hilarious. But it's fine. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, because we do still have a Specs Basket Legion in the back. And E-Speed Entei kills the other guy, so. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Um, I'm not really scared of any attack they go for, so I'm just gonna knock off. Get rid of their item. What is it, lefties? Low battery. It is lefties. Perfect. That's gone. And then they saw Cure again. Not a big deal. It'd be really crazy if Salt Cure, like, trapped you. Like, that'd be insane, kind of. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, we might still win this exchange. It might just be another 20 minute with Chestnut. And the timer might decide this one. <laughs> Again, which is hilarious. Um, I'm just going to click Synthesis. Like, switching hard into Basket Legion to try and get a strong hit off is a bit of a throw. So, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Terra goes. Oh, they Iron Defense as well. That's fine. 
So yeah, Terror Blast and Hydro Pump do similar damage right now. So I probably just click Terror Blast twice. Once I die here. So yeah, I'll, I'll just waste as many as many of their moves as I possibly can. Um, let's just keep spamming knockoff. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Let's go. Honestly, like if we can keep them like decently low, like at least like 10-ish percent, then we guarantee knock them out twice with two Terror Blasts. So like, we'll be fine. It actually becomes a little bit dicey if they just body press us instead of salt curing us with uh, on our Basque Legion. They're going to Iron Defense again. Actually, maybe do I switch? Because they have salt cure, Iron Defense, body press. It's got to be Recover, so no Protect. Because I don't think they've clicked Protect yet. So yeah, once they click Recover, we'll know all their moves, which is like irrelevant in theory, but... Switching into Basque Legion right now would be really cool if they... Mm, it's a bit of a throw if they attack. But I kind of want this to go a little faster, so I'm going to make the play. I think they Iron Defense here. Hopefully. If they don't, then shit. You know, we got fu we're fucked. But if they do... If they do, then we're sitting pretty. Let's fucking go! So, Terror Blast should knock them out from this range. Even if they're, like, even if they're max spadef, they're at, like, right at 50%. It is a 68% chance to knock them out from this range. So I'm going to go for it, man. Shadow Ball does less damage. I know it says super effective, but their ability makes it neutral. Um, Hydro Pump, if I land, would be a stronger chance of killing, but it also can miss. So I'm just going to click Terror Blast and hope for the best. Come on, Basket Legion. You can do it. You can do it. Don't be spit off. Easy. It's not hard. Let's fucking go. Yeah. All right, man. If I had a good Basket Legion PNG, I'd put it on the thumbnail, but I don't think we do. And just because that first battle with the Chestnut was like so good. Maybe I put them both on there. Maybe I put them both on there. Let's fucking go. Not bad. Like I said, very risky play that I made there because if they just randomly attacked, uh, could have been dire, but uh, it's fine. We're, we're good. Oh, I am choice specs. What am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, let's fucking go. Hell yeah. So, I mean, pretty long. I think that I actually can't. I, I took a little bathroom break in between. So, it says 40 minutes right now. I don't think the video is 40 minutes. I think the video is like closer to 30, 30 ish. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be two battles in today. Sorry about the first battle. You know what I mean? No one likes to see people just sit there and wait the timer out. But, you know, it, you know I, I felt like it. it was. They deserved it because they, they threw for the like genuinely no reason. With that being said, guys, that's going to be it from us today. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Use the team at your own discretion. Pretty fun team, not going to lie. A lot of unique Pokemons that you don't really see all that often. Uh, but yeah, man, if you guys are... If you guys like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team, as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below. With that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.